Hello friends, let's see how to make crispy kovakai fry or ivy god fry today. For this, cut kovakai horizontally into thin slices like this. Now take this in a wider plate like this. Mix well. And allow it to stand in a slanted way so that all the water collects down. Keep it slanted this way and push the pieces to the top so that all the excess water collects here. I keep this for 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes now. You can see the water that's collected. Now remove this water. Now after draining water, add quarter cup of rice flour to it. One teaspoon of chili powder. Now this you can take according to the uh, spice level you like. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now if you don't have garlic powder, you can add paste, garlic paste, that will also taste good. And 1 teaspoon of noodles masala, this is available ready made. This adds a nice taste to the fry, so try this out. In case you don't have noodles masala, you can also add garam masala or kitchen cake masala. But this one gives a very good taste, please try this. Now mix everything well. In case it appears a bit sticky, you can add a little bit of uh, rice flour. Also add one tablespoon of corn flour to this. Since we have already added salt, that will be enough. You can taste a bit and see whether you need some more salt. Kids will love this because of the noodles masala taste. This goes well with rasam, sambar, curd rice. Now mix everything well and see that each piece is coated with, a mas with masala. In case you need some more, you can add a little bit of rice flour. Now you can see that each coat is, each uh, piece is coated well with the batter. Now this, this is enough. Now heat oil and fry this. Now the oil is hot. Let's fry these oil guys.
how the sound has come down and the pieces look nice and crisp. The bubbles also are less now. We can remove from the oil. You can see that they are nice and crispy. Now keep frying the next batches. Keep the oil in medium high heat. And the pieces are nice and crisp, you can see. They taste very good. Now in case you don't want to fry this in oil, you can even make it like a puriyal, but add a tablespoon or two tablespoons of oil and then make it like puriyal, it will taste good. After frying the whole batch, add quarter teaspoon of pep powder. And quarter teaspoon of chaat masala over the fry. Now do this and mix well. It will taste very good. So you can see it's crisp. And it will be very tasty too. Please try this dish and give me the feedback. Give me your feedback in the comment section. Please like and share my recipes and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.